To perform an extraction, we will be using a separatory funnel. This technique allows us to separate the aqueous layer from the organic layer. The separatory funnel is placed in the iron ring stand with the stopcock at the bottom of the funnel in the closed position. Double check your stopcock before adding liquids to avoid leakage. The stopcock is closed when the valve is perpendicular to the neck. The liquids are then added through the top of the funnel. In an actual extraction, the solutions generally will not be colored. In this video, one solution is colored for your benefit. Secure the stopper of the funnel, holding the stopper firmly by wrapping your fingers on both sides. Pressure will build up, so be sure to hold the stopper tightly in the funnel at all times. Once the stopper is securely on, the funnel is manually shaken. Remember, the funnel must be shaken pointing away from the body and away from your lab partners. Proper shaking technique involves keeping the funnel inverted. Do not flip the funnel while mixing, as this may lead to leaks. Often, the components develop pressure while the funnel is being shaken. This pressure must be carefully relieved by slowly opening the stopcock while the funnel is inverted and aimed away from the body. Be sure the stopcock is closed before resuming shaking. The funnel is repeatedly shaken and the pressure relieved until no further visible or audible evidence of gas release occurs. The funnel is then placed back in the iron ring and the stopper is removed immediately to prevent residual pressure buildup from ejecting the stopper and solution. Once the contents in the funnel have settled, you will see two layers form. Wait until the two layers are completely separated, then transfer the lower layer into a beaker or Erlenmeyer flask by slowly opening the stopcock. Placing the end of the glass tube on the side of the flask or beaker helps avoid splashing. Leave one or two drops of the lower solution in the funnel. This will help avoid contamination of the solution in the flask. If you are attempting to isolate the solution in the funnel, allow one drop of the upper solution to fall into the flask. Reminder, you need to clean the stopcock before and after each use. When not in use, leave it assembled and cleaned, but very loose fitting. The plastic will distort if it is kept tightly in the funnel.